Hey friends, welcome back to Tuesday with Tasha. How many of you love computers? I sure do. Have you ever thought about how a computer works? Well, we're gonna read about a little bit of it in How to Code a Roller Coaster. It's written by Josh Funk and illustrated by Sarah Palacios. How to Code a Roller Coaster. Hello world, it's me, Pearl, and this is my trusty robot, Pascal. Today, we're at the amusement park. There's so much to do here, but the ride I'm most excited about is the Python roller coaster. Take a look at this map, so many games and rides, and to make sure I have the best day ever, I'm going to use code. Code is a set of instructions that computers understand. I've got 10 tokens that have to last me the whole day. Pascal and I can keep track of how many tokens I have left by using a variable. In code, a variable is like a box or container, but instead of holding toys or snacks, it holds information. Every variable has a name so you know what you're keeping track of and a value. That's the information the variable holds. Let's name our variable, my token. I'm starting the day with 10. It looks like there's a long line at the Python coaster. Maybe it will be shorter later. Let's start with the Ferris wheel instead. Ferris wheel, one token per loop. I love Ferris wheels. I could ride them forever. When we want to repeat an action in code, we use a loop. This time, the action we want to repeat is riding the Ferris wheel. Since we need to pay every time we start a new ride, let's use this loop. Every time we start a trip around the Ferris wheel, subtract one token from my tokens. Three times is enough. Let's swing over to the Python coaster. But what if the line is still full of people? Should we try one of the other rides or games on the map? How do we decide? I have an idea. We can use another variable. Let's name it short line. Its value can be either true or false. And we can use an if then else to decide what to do next. If short line is true, then we'll ride the Python coaster. Else, we'll do something fun on the map. Short line, false. To the map it is. Pascal, where's the map? No, Pascal, I didn't mean we'll do something fun on the map. We'll choose something from the map. Log flume, one token per trip. Good thing you're rush proof, Pascal. My tokens, six. Let's check our if then else again, Pascal. Short line, false. Another ride it is. Short line, false. All aboard. My tokens, five. Short line, false. Aim for the bullseye, Pascal. No, not the bull's eye. My tokens, four. Short line, false. My tokens, three. Error, I'm too dizzy for the Python coaster right now. Maybe I need a snack to calm my stomach. Let's get some ice cream. Reshma's homemade ice cream, one token per scoop. Wow, there are so many flavors, I don't know which to choose. They all look delicious. Ooh, my ice cream flavor can be a variable, and this time we get to choose the value. I'd like my ice cream flavor to be seven layer explosion, please. What flavor do you want, Pascal? My ice cream flavor, chocolate. Here are two tokens. Thanks, Reshma. I'd also love some mini chips on top. No, Pascal, 
mini chocolate chips, not microchips. Look, Pascal, there's no line at the Python coaster. Short line, true. Oh, no. Python roller coaster, two tokens per ride. My token, one. Two tokens, I've only got one. This is a disaster. If I'd only ridden the Ferris wheel once, or hadn't played the debugger, or skipped those awful teacups, then I'd have enough tokens left. Hey, wait a second. What's this? Figure out the secret password hidden in the stars around the park and win one free token. One more token is just what we need. All we have to do is go to those red stars and find the hidden letters. Hey, secret password is a variable too. Now all we have to do is figure out its value. I think I know where to look. Let's do this. D, O, E, and C. That's not a word yet. I think we've got to put these letters into the correct sequence to figure out the secret password, Pascal. It's just like how code needs to be in the proper sequence to work correctly. Wait a microsecond. That's it. The secret password is code. My token, two. Once again, code has saved the day. Now that we know the secret password, let's go ride the Python coaster. The end. Hey, thanks so much for reading that with me. That makes me feel like we could code almost anything we do. All we have to know is the variable and we can figure it out. Thanks for reading the Tuesday with Tasha. Make sure you like and subscribe.